Hey everyone, Joseph Fabia here. Um, this is the follow-up to that last update video that I put out. Uh, this video is going to be uh, revolving around the mobility work that I've done to kind of uh, alleviate some of the problems I've been having with my SI joint and lower back pain. Um, I tried a bunch of stuff at the beginning and I slowly started cutting things out to find out the bare minimum of what I need to kind of get myself going for the lifts and to, to stop any of the pain from, from happening. Uh, so I'm going to go over a couple of things that I've been doing and uh, post up a couple videos of one of the actual warm-ups that I do uh, to get my mobility kind of where it needs to be for a workout. So basically what I've been doing is weighted or banded uh, stretches to accelerate the increasing my mobility. Um, I'm just so tight that it would take way too long to do it without any sort of weighted, weighting or banding. Um, I'm doing it before and after all my workouts. Um, you, usually I get it in after my workouts. If I'm running short on time, I may have to, I may just run out of the gym sometimes and forget about it. But for the most part, I'm doing it before and after. Um, so the first thing I usually start off with is a, um, I'll take a plate and I'll hold it overhead while I'm rolling out over a foam roller across my back and like upper or lower back. Uh, I'll roll back and forth while kind of curling my, uh, like tucking my chin into my chest like this and trying to kind of um, flex my thoracic and holding the plate overhead sort of like this. Um, the weight, it's almost like a chiropractic adjustment when you're rolling back and forth on it. It cracks a lot of the vertebrae, um, feels pretty good. And I'll do um, shoulder uh, or scapular retraction and detraction while I'm uh, going through the different segments of my thoracic spine and it um, seems to get in there really good and kind of loosen up the area. Uh, after doing that, I'll take a, I guess it's called a peanut. It's like you can take two lacrosse balls and tape them together and do the same thing. The gym I work out at has like a preformed one that I, I like. It's kind of grippy and it doesn't slide around everywhere. And I'll basically do the same thing uh, that I did on the foam roller, but with that peanut and really focus on kind of getting in the mid back area and just loosening everything up on there, kind of breathing and exhaling and just trying to loosen up and relax. Uh, after that, I'll do shoulder dislocations with a, a dowel. Um, I'll basically start out as wide as, as I need to go to make it fairly comfortable and I'll do several reps uh, forward and backwards and slowly narrow the grip until it get becomes challenging and then I'll stay at that area for a while and, and kind of rep it out until it feels uh, limber enough. It gets a really nice stretch on the, the chest and I believe it helps uh, warm up the rotator cuff as well. Um, if I start, if I feel especially tight in the chest, I'll hold it kind of just behind my head at the point where the chest uh, or the pecs stretch the most and I'll just kind of chill out there and let everything kind of loosen up. Uh, after that, I take the same dowel and I'll put it on my back like I'm doing a, about to do a squat and I'll start with a wider grip and I'll start pulling it down my back as if I'm doing an exaggerated low bar position. And I'll kind of spend some time there, um, kind of go back and forth between high bar and low bar position. And after a couple of reps of that, I'll narrow the grip again and do repeat the whole process over and over again until I get kind of comfortable in an exaggerated low bar position. Even though I'm not going to be squatting with that position, I just want to get all the kind of cobwebs and rust out of the, the shoulders so that I'm not gonna, getting any pain or discomfort or when I'm squatting, so. Uh, the next thing I'll do is um, banded, uh, banded hip flexor stretch. Um, it'll be a little more apparent in the video that I'm gonna show next, but uh, basically what it is is 
you'll kneel down in front of a bench or a block or something like that. Um, put like a sore necks pad under the knee that's on the ground and you'll put the other foot forward and you'll be in front of like something you can anchor a, a, a quite a heavy band to without, uh, without it moving. I use like a, this pillar that we have at our gym and basically you'll have the band pulling the direction that you're facing. Um, and you can kind of just focus on trying to stretch out your hip flexor, your, your quads, and just play around with it, uh, kind of twist left and right. And yeah, it seems to be uh, loosening my hips up quite a bit and squats are getting a lot less uh, uncomfortable uh, when I go into them cold uh, during my warmups. Uh, and the last thing I've been doing to get everything kind of warmed up is um, I'll do hip thrusts or just body weight uh, hip thrusts with a kind of more challenging a thicker band around my knees. So I'll focus on trying to abduct my, uh, my knees while I do the hip thrust and kind of hold it at the top, getting a nice squeeze in the glutes. And uh, yeah, it's kind of, I feel like it hits everything, everything in the glute area and gets it nice and warmed up. I'll do like, you know, 10 to 15 reps with the hold at the top. It seems to help me activate my glutes a little better before uh, I go into the lifts. Um, I find that they don't activate nearly as much as they I feel like they should be because I'm constantly sitting down for my, my day job. So yeah, hopefully these stretches will help anybody out that, uh, that may be having any problems or hopefully you've learned something and... Yeah, if you guys have any recommendations for any topics you want to hear or any questions that you want answered, uh, feel free to leave the, your questions in the comments below and I'll do my best to answer everybody's questions. Thanks.